probably the very first thing that we had to work out on the series was the number of animals. What was our cast list? So we needed to look at every scenario and count up the number of dinosaurs and we end up with something around about 47 or 50 characters. And they all need to be sculpted. But that's not sculpted in a, in a sort of real world, that's sculpted in the computer. Our modelers build what we call a proxy model, which is basically getting the model in its early stages of blocking it out, so getting the right shape and proportions. So what you start off with is just a big grey square block that then you divide up into lots of pixels and all the rest of it and then start sculpting those things away and gradually this thing will take the form of a dinosaur. We then move on to what we call a, a 3D sculpt to put in detail. It's just the same as clay modelling really but it's on a computer. Every little scale, every little detail needs to be sculpted and laid onto that animal. Having done the sculpt, we then go into something called uh, paint or 3D paint, where you actually paint the colours, the look of them, the patterns. Often, the colours of dinosaurs are guesswork, but it is an educated guess. In order for the animators to be able to move the dinosaurs, the models then get passed on to a rigging team who then put in puppeteering controls which enable the, the animators to animate. Those puppeteers are really like skeletons that go inside the dinosaurs. Everything needs to be rigged. If you want an eyelid, that needs rigging. If you need a nostril flare, that needs rigging. So all the kind of nuanced movement you've described in your script or you've asked for, that needs to be put in at the rigging stage. Because without that, well, it isn't going to move.